Greetings, this is Reginald, also known as Brother Teacher. I'm sitting here today on December 24th, Christmas Eve of 2015, uh, thinking about you, my friends and my followers out there on YouTube and even beyond. And I just wanted to give you some words of encouragement today. And that is uh, to hang in there and hold on. Whatever life has dealt you over the past decade, and even more recently, this past year up until this point, that has caused a setback, that has slowed you down, that has caused obstacles to get in your way and stop you from achieving the things that you set out to achieve, or the things that you indeed wanted to achieve. Hold on. You are great. You are still a champion. I want you to know that just because we don't accomplish the things that we want to in the time frame that we desire to accomplish it does not mean that we won't. And it all depends upon us. There are things that I haven't done uh, that I would have desired to have done this year. Uh, but there are many things that I have done that I did indeed set out to do, and I have accomplished those things. I've had a whole lot of uh, pluses this year. I've had a whole lot of small successes and some mediocre successes and some great successes. And I uh, believe firmly, I'm very optimistic that 2016 is going to even be greater a year for myself and for you even. So don't wait until the new year comes in in about a week uh, ushering us into the year 2016 understand this and i say this all of the time and i want you to wrap your brains around it a new year has nothing to do with a number say it again a new year has absolutely nothing to do with a number the new year as it relates to the world the life in which we live has everything to do with nature so for example right now we're in the month of december in the united states and it's basically or technically winter time so when springtime comes and the leaves begin to come back on the trees the flowers begin again to grow and then bud and then blossom into flowers the animals and the insects begin to come back out of hibernation so to speak that is what the new year is so understand that and wrap your brain around that one a lot of people don't know that and also as it relates to the new year that most of us are accustomed to here in america and even the world because we westernize a lot of other countries in the world it relates totally to fiscal change. In other words, the new year ushers in a new period of time for the United States government where all of the, uh, how should I say, the, the administrative things that have been done the year before will have been set into place and filed away and then start all over again in the new fiscal year coming in January the 1st. Retail companies, businesses, corporations will close their books on their finances for the previous year and then they will start their books all over again i've been in retail for over 25 years so i know this so you're starting all over again and then you're going to compare your previous year's uh income or your previous year's fiduciary records to your present year coming up on a weekly basis on a monthly basis and then finally when you get to the end of that year it will have been an annual thing so that is the new year but the new year has absolutely nothing to do with you going out to a new year's party and getting drunk sloppy drunk and having a hangover the next day and blowing horns and all of this kind of thing but as the scripture says in all of your getting get understanding and this is the understanding so as long as you understand that the new year as we celebrate it supposedly celebrate it in america has everything to do with money 
It has everything to do with the prices being increased in the new year coming up in retail and all of the corporate businesses, if you, if you will, because things do change from a fiduciary standpoint. And the real new year has everything to do with nature coming back and becoming new and refreshed again. That's the real new year. So I wish and I hope that all of you that are watching this video today have a wonderful and safe new year coming in and stay away from nonsense, stay away from danger, you know, enjoy your family, love your family, tell someone uh, that you love them that you haven't said you love them to in a long time and uh, just take this understanding with you. And uh, I don't celebrate Christmas uh, because it's my spiritual belief but I don't beat anybody up who doesn't uh, necessarily subscribe to what I believe in, but that's just for the teacher. I don't celebrate Christmas, and I haven't celebrated this since I was 18 years old. But uh, for those of you who do uh, acknowledge Christmas and celebrate Christmas and Kwanzaa and uh, Hanukkah and things like this, I want to tell you that I love you and Yahweh love you and to be safe and your family be safe. And I hope to see you all again, if not in a video before the new year, then after the new year. Be blessed and so long.